I've really been enjoying this new addition to my configuration, which is Oil and Vim. Before I was using LIR, which I really liked, but Oil has been awesome to be able to really easily edit and change sort of the file system directly inside of NeoVim without having to do a bunch of crazy stuff. And I've actually run into a few situations already where I've used Oil to change a whole directory of files really easily just by doing like three different Vim commands instead of writing a really complicated, you know, sort of script to change all of the file names and then mess it up somehow and delete all my files and lose them, right? So, so oil is really cool. Oil is effectively, it's not a file tree. It's like a directory viewer. Okay. And what it does that I think is really good, although I'm sure you can use it for some file tree things. I generally do not have oil open all the time. Okay. I'm not, I'm not a file tree enjoyer as we've talked about a few other times. I think generally it's sort of just taking up space, um, in your thing, although it's, it's okay to use sort of to explore a particular section maybe, but, but oil is about just editing or, and viewing a particular directory and sort of navigating within that. So one thing that I like about oil as well is it has really great defaults makes it super easy to get started. You see, I barely have any config here. Most of it is just setting up two keybinds that I personally like and turning off a keybind because I use control H J K L to navigate. And so I, I wanted those turned off sort of inside of oil. So what does it actually do? That's enough talking about what, what it is, right? Um, I'll press minus that's this key bind here, which says run oil. Okay. When I press minus what we, what it does is it opens up sort of the parent directory of whatever file I was working on, right? I was just inside of this oil file, press minus, and then it opens up this directory. What's cool is if I change this to oil example, and then I save this buffer. Okay. So I've just made the change and I'm going to save the buffer, press enter and it says, Hey, would you like to move this? I say, yes, yes, I would. Thank you. And so now when I open this, you'll see, Hey, I've, I've got that file that we had before. And if I pop back out again and I just delete to the dot, right? DT dot, then I can save the file and say, do you want to move it? Yes, I do. And so what I like about this is I can sort of do the text manipulation tasks that I generally do anyways while I'm editing. And I can apply those really quickly to different files. You can also do something like subfolder. And if it has a slash at the end, when you save it, it'll say, Hey, want to create a subfolder? You bet I do. And then I'll create the subfolder, press enter to go in nested.lua, right? I can save this, say yes. It saves it. I open it and now I'm in plugins, subfolder, and there we go. You can see nested, right? And then if I hop back out and I delete this line and I save it, it says, you sure you want to delete that? And I say, yes, I sure do, because this is just an example and I'm doing it for all of you. So that's sort of the main thing with oil that I really like. I know some people really enjoy sort of the, uh, the floating one. I haven't really gotten the floating one in my workflow yet, mostly because whenever I do something like this, I'd sort of rather it just take up the whole screen for me or whatever split I'm in. So I can make sure I'm tracking with the particular split, but I could maybe see some examples where I'd want to do that, or maybe I'd want to pop it up on the side or something. I haven't explored sort of the floating configuration options that it has, but I really, really, really like this idea here of just being able to press dash. And if I wanted to add to all of these files example here in front of them, I can just write this and it'll say, Hey, I'm going to put example in front of all those. And in this case, I'm actually going to say, no, I don't want to do that. And I'll just um, reread the file back in by doing edit with a, with a bang to make sure that I sort of grab back what their original contents were. And that's basically everything oil does, or at least that I'm using it for so far. If you've got something that you're using oil for that I'm not, that you're like, this is my favorite feature of oil, which I've already sort of found a few, you know, like making the, making the buffers. It also has stuff like preview, which is kind of fun. So you can, 
you can preview the file before opening it and doing all this other stuff and and split and those are really helpful as well i don't find them as helpful as some of the other ones because if i know the file that i want to look at i usually just will like type it in and then you know press like control v or something like this inside of telescope to just open up that file separately um, i do really like it for a few of these things and for maybe hopping around within the current folder occasionally but otherwise i usually then navigate back via telescope or via some sort of lsp navigation so anyways hope you like this one this has been probably it's definitely one of my top favorite additions in the new config um and yeah thanks everybody i'll see you later